write a Python function, find pairs of numbers which accepts a list of positive integers with no repetitions and returns count of pairs of numbers in the list that adds up to n. The function should return 0 if no such pairs are found in the list. Also write the PyTest test cases to test the program. Sample input 1, 2, 7, 4, 5, 6, 0, 3. It is a list and the n is 6. Uh, let's see how it works. Pairs. Find pairs of numbers which adds up to n. 1 plus 2. Let's take 1 first. So 1 plus 2 is not 6. 1 plus 7 is not 6. 1 plus 4 is not 6. But 1 plus 5 is 6. Then pair count goes 1. Goes to 1. Uh, increments by 1. Then the first cooperation is over because they have very clearly given no repetitions. Number does not repeat again and again. Then we will take second number. From second number we will have to take all of the check with all of the numbers. 2 plus 7 not 6. 2 plus 4 is 6. Now pairs of count. Count pair goes by inc gets incremented by another 1. Then we take third number 7. If this value is greater than 6 then there is no point in Checking this with all of the number, we can break right there. Then we will move to the fourth, uh, fourth number, 4. 4 plus 5? No. 4 plus 6? No. 4 plus 0? No. 4 plus 3? Is also no. Then we will move on, 5. 5 plus 6? No. 5 plus 0? No. 5 plus 3 is no. Then finally, when then, then the next number is 6. 6 plus 0? Yes. It adds up to n. 6 plus 0 is 6. Then the common pair, 3. Then we take the next number 0, 0 plus 3, no. So the result should be 3. So let's look at the solutions we have written. We have taken two loops. One starts from first element to uh, second last element. So first element is 1 and second last element is 0. The second loop which starts from i plus 1. Second loop will help us uh, to uh, go from second first element or i plus 1 element. Currently i, I uh, pointing to 1. Then j will be pointing to 2. If i is going to point to 2, then j will be pointing to 7. Till the last element. So we use j for that. So just to understand things better, I have used a variable called current value or next value. This will help us. So current value will have uh, num list of i and the next value will have num list of j. So when the current value is greater than uh, when the current value is greater than uh, n. In this example, 9 is n. If the current value is, so in the single digit, we will not have anything greater than uh, 9. Right? But if the current value is greater than n, if you look at this example, 6 is the n. If the current value is 7, then we don't have to compare, check this with any other value. So that is the reason we have put a break here. Otherwise, we increment the counter, then break. Break means, which will come out, this break statement will help you to Terminate the inner for loop and come out of it. So let's visualize this to understand better. So we will take this value because how you will understand how the break works and all that for when something is greater than n. Let's visualize this. So num list has these many numbers, value of n is 6. Now we call this method find pairs of numbers. So we take list and n, count of pairs, that is the variable we have created. So we take i, i and j, i for outer loop and j for inner loop. And current value will be pointing to 1 and the next value will be 2. So we check whether they are, if current value is greater than n, no, then we 1 plus 2 we check, then 1 plus 7 we check, this way we keep checking. Look at this, current value is 1, the next value is 2. So they are not n. 1 plus 2 is not n, 1 plus 2 is not 6, so then next value changes to 7, 1 plus 7 is not 6, then next value changes to 4, 1 plus 4 is not 6, then moves on, 1 plus 5 is 6, and it comes down, count of pairs becomes 1 now, then we break, so we will not check 1 with rest of the values, now we have checked up to 5, so we will not check with 6, 0, 3. We will skip checking that. This break will help us to come out of it. So we will say 3 iterations. Then i becomes, then current value i becomes 1, the current value will become 2. Then next value will become 7. 2 plus 7? No. Not possible. Then we move on. 
Then the next line is saying changes. 2 plus, six, 2 plus 4 is 6. Yes. The count pairs gets incremented. Then break. So we already checked 2 with 4. Then we will skip checking 2 with 5, 6, 0, 3. So this break statement will help us to come out of it. So I moves to 7. When the current value itself 7, that is, you don't have to check it with any other number. See, actually we, we, we check if adding up two numbers will give us 6. When the current value itself greater than 6, then why should we check it with other values? Then we go for a break. Then the current value moves to the next index. Right? So current value becomes 4. Then we check 4 with other numbers. So this is the way we execute for the rest of the numbers. This goes up to 6. When the current value becomes 6, this process works. So current value is current value is 6 now. 6 plus 0, yes. Count uh, and the count of pairs gets incremented by 1, then we break it. Then the current value becomes 0, then the next value is 3. So when we check the 0, right? So to check when we we should not go beyond the outer loop should not go beyond zero. If the outer loop is going to go beyond the, the sixth index, then if the, if the current if outer loop for loop i if it is going to point to the seventh index, then j will try to refer to the next eighth index, which does not exist. That's the reason we have stopped the outer loop right there. That is why we have given code here line of num list minus one. So current outermost loop will be uh, stopping its execution right from the sixth position. So we know that j is i plus 1, so it will go to the second position. I hope this helps you to understand things better. After all this execution, this process will return a value. So count of pairs is 3. That's about it.